Hi, I'm Dave Dolber from Clearbrook, Minnesota, and I would like to just go through a couple things on the setup that we have here. And uh, first of all, if you want a quick gate to get in, this works pretty nice for getting in and out of a corral area without having to climb over the panels all the time. Okay. Notice that every one of our pieces of equipment has got hooks on the top, so you can take any one of them with a pallet fork, move them around. So we set up here, we brought them in pallet fork one piece at a time, just set them in. Here's a 10 foot alley section right here that's got, uh, it's got the hooks at the top. And all of our alley sections have got a drop down on them. So, want to paddle a calf along or do some pull run or even some shots in the alleyway you can do it right from right from the outside and uh, this has got it's got what we call an easy adjust alleyway so you just can just pull it in and lock it down whatever whatever size you need Big to small catwalk, get up on there if you need to. Um, each, here's another 17 foot alley section here. Each of our alley sections have got a drop, no back in the back. Again, drop down a section of it here. Um, we'll walk through it, look at it from the inside. Here. This is a splitter. And you can just lock it either over if you want them to come up the alley or lock it this way like we just loaded some cattle into that stock trailer. Um, this is an eight and a half foot section, another eight and a half foot section. We do have a little alley turns we call them. That's this bright silver pieces here and here. That's an option if you want to make it firm to your system and you can put that on Side. So if you put that alley turn over on this side, look at there, then the linear curve would go the other direction, go to the right. Um, sector, one of the neatest deals this is so fast. And uh, if you have the option, you can lock it over. And so you've got it locked over. Put a and shine on this one right here. This shows you how that just a little jerk of this rope. Now that alley, that slick door shuts itself. If you turn this around, you're gonna lock it. So now you're running cattle through, say to load them out of here or whatever, which we do sometimes. Then we lock that up and now it doesn't go shut. You can just run them right straight through. We like our doors going this way when they come through the slick door. Uh, slick door will shut on the butt end of it. Give it another bump with that one. Kind of gets them right up all the more closer to the head gate. This has got the door on each side. If you want your doors to go backwards the other way, this the pegs are already on here. It's just four bolts, two here and two there. The bolt holes are already here. Just turn the doors around and you can have your doors going backwards if you would like. Um, oh, this has got enough room. You actually, this, I can verify this will turn a 2,000 pound bull out because we had one last fall accidentally went out on us, but we've turned a lot of bred 1,600 pound cows out through here. And you can either go left or right. So you've got options of exiting out of here if you want to exit right or left out of here and, uh, and they, everything is slammed shut so you don't have to be messing around looking for some these these are the same thing you got a tremendous amount of access to uh, get in uh, for working on an animal either side only also you can exit on either side here um, we do have blinders on the blinders on the sides of all of them, and uh, that does help to focus their uh, vision right at the opening of the head gate. Bottom half opens on both sides. 
Uh, we get calves nursing in here. I've semen tested my bull. In fact, just three weeks ago, semen tested a dozen bulls in here. And, uh, that works really well. Again, it's slam shut. Very, very simple. Kind of funnels them right in there. This um, is a neck shut door or neck. Uh, if you want to do something with the neck, you have access to get in here. Slam shut. This head gate is a self catcher. I work in cattle by myself. I like it when they walk in and catch themselves. Now, this neck extender is the only automatic neck extender on the market. You'll see this neck extender is recessed back in here, so you, an animal doesn't even see it's there. And then as their shoulders push on the head gate shut, while they're pushing that, the neck extender is automatically going ahead. When the, when the squeeze chute locks, now the neck extender is locked. So it's, you don't have any other motion to putting your neck extender in place. And now you do have plenty of room for giving shots. That's especially here. We do ear tag. It does hold them, get their ear back in here. It helps to hold their head so much more still. Now here, when you open it up, this neck extender now is at the outside of this gate. So we run 2,500 pound bolts through here and no problem at all. This has an automatic reset. You let go and it just automatically resets. Another little option that we've got that we do use it um, is right here. All that does is flip over and becomes a lock to hold the head gate. So now, if you've got an animal messing around coming through here, uh, the head gate is not going to go shut because it's locked open. Research all over the place. There's research on, in fact, just on this, there's 36 just on this squeeze chute alone. It's grease arc. See, every moving part's got a, got a grease, grease arc on it. So you, if you want to take the time to grease them, you certainly have an option to do that. This one has the parallel squeeze. So, boom, you know, here's a here's a 2,500 pound bull, 150 pound calf. Get that and anything in between. If you don't like this lever where it is, move it. Get it out of your way. All right, another option is the brisket bar. And um, like I will have times have them locked in here like that. And I can thread this right back through here and get it in where I can just ratchet them right up into the head gate. There's three things we really try and promote. One is we want stuff built really strong. As you can see everything here is strong. Heavy, heavy built, heavy steel. Um, the other thing is make it safe for animals and the guy who's working it. And let's make it simple. That's, a, that's the three things we like. And you've got to remember this. If it doesn't say real tough, it's not real tough.